It has been the longest week of my life. It has been so long and so tiring, and I'm ready to sleep. Hi, friends. Welcome to the life of a lawyer who's made choices in her life to get to this point. She made those choices, and now she's she's here dealing with the consequences. Well, I don't know what to say. I'm tired. It's been a long week, but I'm excited. I'm ready to play because one, I need to unwind. Okay, I need a lot of unwinding time. And two, it's truly like, no, this time it's truly felt like forever since I played. So I'm ready. My hoe's ready. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can already feel the delirious, tired playthrough coming on today. Jody's birthday and Abigail's birthday. Well, well. Okay. Why do I have all this crap in here? Who let me do this? Miss Ma'am. Okay, what the hell does Jody like? Do we know? Maybe we can find out. Pancakes, crispy bias. Look at that, right there. I can make a pancake right here. Ugh. Okay, let's go find Jody. I've unlocked the back room of the shop. <gasps> oh my gosh, all the exciting stuff, things, all the exciting stuff is happening to us. Jody, thank you. Friendship. Oh, this is all the friendship from the community center. Is that what that is? Thank you. Lewis, thank you. Crayon sauce, thank you. Willie, thank you. Demetrius, thank you. Oh my gosh. Rhubarb pie, a little pizza. Oh my god. So does that mean we're, te we're 10 hearts with Willie? Oh, okay. Now maybe we just had to get to five. All right. I'm okay with that. I'm going to sort. Goodbye. You don't need to see this. Okay, let's read the secret note. Is that Sam? Okay, so we'll learn his, or Alex? Probably Alex. I'll leave the, oh wait, my ancient seed. Do I plant it? What do I do with the ancient seed again? Is that not a spot? Okay, let's get rid of this one. Excuse me, why can't I plant the ancient seed? Yeah, what do you do with the, the am I dumb? No, you just plant the ancient seed. I don't know y'all, something's fishy. That being, I don't know what I'm doing or how to play this game. <laughs> We've been playing it for almost a year now. Can you believe that? In January, it is February, probably February. So it's not almost a year. I just can't distinguish passing of time. I don't understand it. But very soon, however many months that is, two, three, it'll be a year, a year that I've been playing. Like I said before, I am not someone who is consistent about things. And me being consistent with this has been a lesson. It's been a real lesson in like thinking you're one kind of way and, and keeping yourself in that mindset and learning that you are not a static person and you're subject to change at any point in your life. That's it. Me always making things more complicated than they need to be. It's Thursday, so no carts or anything. Put this stuff away. Oh, also, I forget because I update I update all my other platforms, but I realize there's probably people who watch this who don't keep up with other platforms. But I passed the bar. That happened last what last Friday. Last Friday I figured out I passed the bar. Very excited about it. Yay! Let's find Jody. So very excited, very relieved. Thank you to everybody on here who would like comment and ask about it. I appreciate you. I know I complain nonstop about it. And I know y'all saw, saw some very tired Stardew Let's Plays during that time period. It would actually be hilarious to go back and... That was a demon in my throat. Go back and, and watch those from that time because... I was in another mental state, truly. Topaz, I think I have topaz. Like this constant work that I did this week, it's like specific to this week because I have specific deals that are just busy. It's not like an always thing. Oh, cutscene. But just to finish the thought, because I know myself, I won't finish the thought. This like amount of busy where I'm probably doing like around the same amount of hours of work. It's not nearly the same. It's not nearly as mentally draining. Cause I was trying to think of that this week. I'm like, 
I mean, I'm like doing a, a little bit under the same amount of work every day that I was doing when I studied for the bar. Like, why is it not as draining and stressful and traumatic? But I realized the bar is like you're working your mind so much. Like you're actively trying to learn and retain things and then you're trying to memorize things and you're trying to like structure essays and trying to like apply the things you've learned do multiple choice like it's so demanding on your brain and to do that for like eight to 12 hours a day monday through sunday like you don't have a weekend i get why it's it's terrible and just reflecting on that i'm like damn that really was a terrible time and i'm so glad i don't have to do it again So that's that. <laughs> and that's why the work I do is not nearly as bad because it's literally zero brain power. Well, not zero, but way like a fraction of the brain power. It's just doing things, completing tasks. That sound. Oh, you should have known that sound would remind me of the war. He, you know what? Props to him for, for a addressing that emotion and, and expressing it. Did he do it? Could he have done it in a better way? Yes. But he identified. He acknowledged, he expressed. I lost a lot of good friends in those bloody trenches. Trenches? Damn, what year is it? But dear popcorn was always your favorite before you left. Girl, don't invalidate his his experiences. What the hell? Things have changed. And can you say something to him? What can I say to the man? He has PTSD. That's on you, Jody. Jody, you need to adapt. Can I say go to therapy? I know you're hurting, but don't blame your wife. I'll just take the blame. I always take the blame. Don't lie to me. I hate lies more than anything. I don't really care what my relationship does with Kent. I'm sorry, honey. You couldn't have known the sound of popcorn would make me upset. I mean, she she could have asked. We could have done a little intake, you know, when he came home. Hey, how you feeling? Loud sounds? They get into you? All right, I'll, I'll uh, change my ways. She could have done a little research to support her partner who's come home from the war. But also, also, he does. I'm trying to psychoanalyze these two. He he also, you know, he can't read minds, you know, he should express things as well, but he could have done it. All right. The last thing I want to do is make you upset. I'll do my best to keep your spirits up. Okay. Well, that was fun. Jody, here's pancakes. Happy birthday. They were just walking around. He was just walking in circles. Oh, I think I have to go before 12 to the community center. Yep. Okay. Let me go to Clint's at least. Or maybe I go inside the community center? Let's try. Let's try, friends. Let's try. No. Okay. Okay, that's fine. No worries. I didn't want a party anyways. It's dumb. Who wants a, a party to celebrate finishing the community center that's been dilapidated for years and years before I moved into town and did it in less than two years? It's fine. <laughs> Yay! My hoe! That was everything gold. <gasps> oh my gosh, everything. Oh no, not my watering can. Is it? Oh, it's copper. But I don't even like. I don't even need a watering can like that, you know? I have that. I forgot this is what I wanted to do. Ah, oh, it's a good thing you turned up, miss. I've got a bit of a problem I could use a hand with. Come on, take me there, Willie. Take me there. It'd be best if I just showed you. Okay. Show me. Take a deep breath now. Hmm? What? As you can see and smell, the old girls ran wild last night. My experiment needs a little work. Ooh, back at it again, huh, Willie? I love Gus. I love Gus. They look fresh, all right. A, these are the finest. I keep saying A. I, these are the finest, meatiest crabs you'll ever set your eyes on. They'd be a little too feisty, though. I'll take the whole lot, with a discount for the extra labor, of course. I don't remember what this was for. Was that a reaction to something, like a task I did? Goodbye, my sweet ladies. Ken, don't tell Willie, but I'll be doing a special on crab cakes at the saloon for the next few days. I can't wait, I'll be buying them up. I mean, don't tell Willie, isn't that what he catches the fish for to begin with? Come on. Okay, so can I go out the back door? Ah! <gasps> so excited. Aye, a sad sight, isn't she? She was me father's boat, served him well for over 50 years, but now she can barely stay afloat. He caught you, buddy. I'd repair myself, but I don't have the right materials, miss. A. Aye, 200 pieces of hardwood to patch the hole would be a good start. 
<laughs> but we'll also need to get the ticket machine back up and the iridium anchor repaired. If I could get me hands on the right materials and repair the old girl, well, then I could take you to the Fern Island. Oh, that would be amazing, Willie. Volcanic islands full of strange parrots, they say. I'd like to help. I would. 200 pieces of hardwood, though? I thought you would, miss. I'll leave this door unlocked for you. You can come drop off the materials whenever you like. 200 pieces of hardwood. Five reading bars is not bad. And five battery packs. Okay, we can work on... We can work on all of it. But one's just gonna take a long time. A obscene amount of time. Where's Pooh? Excuse me, where's Pooh? Did I leave Pooh? No. Oh no, what's this part? What the hell is that? Topaz? Bug meat. Oh, I forgot about the bug meat. Oh, I forgot about the bug meat. Will, Will, I don't know if I'm gonna do that for you. I don't know, man. I mean, I guess I have I have nothing better to do, but... Oh, there's Pooh. You silly boy. But a hundred, it's just too many. Let's see what uh, Gus has got. He's got crab cakes already. Damn, he was quick. I have so much copper. I need to go to the ice levels. Let's make at least one iridium bar. That's all we can do right now is one. We definitely have five battery packs. I will deliver these batteries and then I'm going to the mines because we need those guts. Oh no. This has been a really... Okay, we had cutscenes. <laughs> I'm saying this has been a really long day. I don't even know why I'm going to the mines. I have like literally an hour. Maybe I'll just collect berries. I'll just collect berries. We'll do mines tomorrow. Okay, so tomorrow I have to remember to go over to the convenience center before noon. I don't know when it is. Because I swear one time I had a community center celebration party and it was like at like 10. Triggered at like 10. Okay, so it's not that either. I don't know what it is. Maybe it takes a couple days. I just want the community center to be appreciated, you know? Just wanna be appreciated. Oh, we're almost at 90,000 and then we're almost at 100,000. And we can get the house upgrade. We're so close, y'all. I just need like one more big break. Thank you, Jody. Thank you, Evelyn. I love how diligent I was about the cat food at first and now I'm like, okay, I'll deposit these. I have 50 mixed seeds. Okay, what I was about to go through all my things and I said I need to go in the morning. Is it the Friday? Yay! Ah, uh, finally! Yay! Aww. My pride and joy. Enjoy it, y'all. Okay, get the cigarette butts off the table, though. Cigarette butts off the table. No smoking indoors. Aww. Gunther's at the library. Willie's at his little fish tank. So cute. I'm not sure how you did it, Ken, but the community center has never looked better. You've done Pelican Town a great service. Everyone in town is pleased. As a way of saying thank you, I'd like to present you with this town's greatest honor, the Stardew Hero Award. <gasps> thank you. You received a Stardew Hero trophy. Ooh, grumble, grumble. Who's that? Sales have been plummeting. Where have all my customers gone? It's not about money, Morris. It's about community. Maybe you could learn a little bit about love and community and companionship. All my customers here. This isn't good. Yeah, tell him, Pierre. How does it feel? Let's settle this the old-fashioned way. I'll say let's be reasonable. Hmm. It's of no consequence. I'll just run a 75% off sale and all my customers will come crawling back to me, begging for forgiveness. Forgiveness? Sir, you are the seller. No, not this time. Gather round, everyone. No, not this time. I will force them to shop at my shop. I remember when I first moved to Pelican Town. This building was active and vibrant. We worked together to make the town a better place. There's a real sense of community. George, you always used to do the crossword puzzle while sipping coffee in the community kitchen, remember? The good old days. Emily, you wove that custom banner for the Stardew Valley Fair. I remember you working on that for years. It was a lot of fun. Willie, me? <laughs> remember when your little crab experiment got out of hand? <laughs> that I do. We showed up one morning and the place was crawling with him. That was literally yesterday. 
But Gus saved the day with a brilliant idea, a crab leg feast for the entire valley. Oh, okay, this was another instance. Okay, so it happened twice is what you're telling me. Get it together, Willie. I still dream of that garlic butter. Oh, that sounds good. You see, everyone, our community is what makes Pelican Town special. When Jojo Mart came to town, we lost sight of that. But now, thanks to Ken, we have a second chance. I'm asking that you join me in boycotting Jojo Mart. We have the power to reclaim our old way of life. Who's with me? I've lived here long enough to see this town go to ruin. You can count me in. I'm in. Boycott, me too. It's about time. No more Jojo. Y'all were the... They're acting like... Y'all were the ones going there for the, the cheap prices. I'm done for. Buddy just needs to hang hang around for like one more week and then people are going to go back to their old, old ways. Morris and Jojo Mark cronies were never heard from again. What about Shane? Shane's one of those Jojo Mark cronies. Where does Shane go after this? He's out of a job now. What does he do? Uh-oh. <laughs> I feel like I remember him still going, walking to Jojo Mart or something. Maybe not. I don't know what that boy does. Oh, I should have gone. I'm going to the beach first. And then I shall do my animals and whatnot. Oh, I have to have all of them at once? Dumb. I have to have all of them at once. Okay, so I have to go to the forest, the secret forest every day now, which I should have done yesterday. I didn't do that yesterday. Whoops, big whoops on my part. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, traveling cart. Do we even need things from the traveling cart anymore? I don't know, but I'm gonna still go. I wish after the community center, it kind of like picked up and had some other things that were interesting and unique. This thing's kind of not cute, so I don't want to put it in my house, but I'll put it right there. Yay. I don't want to talk about my wood floor right now. I can't. It's not that I, I don't. I, I can't. I'm too ashamed. Ooh. What? Shrimp cocktail. That's kind of terrifying looking. The iridium ore is helpful because I needed that one to make a second bar. Thank you, traveling card. That was very helpful. Okay, 15 of 200. How many days does that take? 15... Okay, it'll take like 14 days. That's a lot of days. Okay, off to find Abigail. Are y'all ever like, damn, I definitely have a cavity. That's how I've been for like basically a year with this one tooth, which is not good. I know I'm probably gonna have to get like a root canal. I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> Abigail, you in here? Girl, you hanging out here? Oh my goodness. Anyways, I know I have a cavity. I know I have like a lot because I haven't had dental insurance I haven't been able to go to a dentist finally have dental insurance now that I have a job and I know I have so much work to do I have a lot of work that I need to get done but this one just started hurting which is concerning <laughs> Marnie we can't if we're got out it would undermine my, my my position of authority in the town I understand don't you you care too much about your job Lewis there are other things to life you know yeah, like, who else is going to be mayor? But yes, I understand. I guess we'll have to keep us a secret. Yeah. I've caught y'all, like, three times. Yes, and I'll keep it a secret. Thank you, Ken. I won't forget this. Well, yeah, I was hiding in the bushes. I was being the weird one. Why were you hiding? Exactly. Why were you hiding? <laughs> Bye. All right, Abigail. Where are you? We got to sit here. I'll just wait in here if she comes back. She come back yet? Why is Caroline just doing circles? Friday, 9 p.m. Heads home. Arrives home at 9.40. All right, we're going to get her. We're going to get her. Yeah! I love that. Just a little something for your trouble. Thank you. Okay. Please move. Thank you. Oh, Seb was walking away too. Were they hanging out? What were y'all doing? What else is new? What else is new? I feel like there's so much less blabbing time when there's so many cutscenes. So I don't know if I had said this last time, but I applied for a Twitch partner uh, like last week or two weeks ago. I was really excited about it. And then I was also really worried because I knew I was going on vacation. I was on retreat for the weekend. So my hours for that week wouldn't be normal. And I was like, Ugh, hopefully they look and see I've been consistent forever. And they see that this is just a vacation. But I don't think they did. I think they I think they just look at if your hours are consistent. 
and they weren't for this week so I didn't make partner they sent me an email and they were like you didn't make partner but you can apply again in three to four weeks we just want to see that your community is consistent so I'm like okay all right I can do that a little sad but I can do that Piers is now open seven days a week yay no more having to plan is that mushroom oh my gosh y'all i have a mushroom tree i've never had a mushroom tree before i've never had a mushroom tree it's so cute it's in the perfect spot oh my gosh i don't even know how they happen i think it's, it's just random right it's not like you plant to mushroom or anything right oh my god it's so cute i love it all right, y'all said Elliot loves these damn duck feathers, so I guess we're gonna give them to him. He's gonna take my iridium duck feathers. The duck hopping in the water truly brings me unbridled amounts of joy and happiness. Can't explain it. Oh damn, I forgot a day. Which means we'll probably have a decent amount of money. We might get our 100,000. We might be able to get our house upgrade tomorrow. Wee. All right, what do you say? Mine's time? Wait, is today the birthday? Today is the birthday. Wait, how do you do this one? Hey, kid, I need a lucky break. Why don't you bring me a rabbit's foot? I'll make it worth your while. Come back when you've got a rabbit's foot on you, kid. Okay. <laughs> say less. Say less. Let's do gift for Abigail. What else does Abigail like? She, likes, she loves chocolate cake. We can give her the chocolate cake we have. Oh, where are you going? Up in your little mopey corner? Yep, okay. I'll come get you in a second. You just stay right there. I can't believe you fixed up that old community center all by yourself. I'm really impressed. Thank you, girl. That's so sweet. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so we can get our house upgrade. And then that's the last one. Could still go sell it to Pierre's. Get the money immediately, but I wouldn't have time to go up to Robin's anyways, I don't think. I'm excited for our house. I just had a flashback to the first couple episodes of this and how I was so lost on my farm. Like, I had no idea where any of the things were. You know what I watched yesterday? Red Notice and it has The Rock, and it has Ryan Reynolds. And I saw previous, I saw one preview for it, and I was like, that is gonna be the dumbest movie. I'm so dumb. I will, I just won't ever watch it. Not cause like, you know, I'm I'm so much better, and I, I, I don't watch movies like that. Just like, I knew I would never either happen to see it, choose to see it. But last night, I was working till like nine-ish, and so I was tired and I was like, I need something to like get me through this last push at least, the very least. And I opened Netflix on my TV. It was the first thing on the TV and I've never made a decision that quickly with Netflix in my life. Like even when I'm going to find something that I know I'm going to watch, I still take longer than this. I literally pressed my account. I opened it. That came up. I pressed play. No thoughts, no thoughts, no decisions. Head completely empty and watched Red Notice. Do I regret it? No. Would I recommend it? No. Did it improve my life? No. It did, you know, distract me from the work I had to get done. It just, it just was so dumb. Ooh, getting some fun things in this one. Wow, I feel like it's kind of crazy today. What? Three iron ore? Okay, it's 1020, I gotta go. What is this? Why she got a sword? I guess you're wondering why I'm in the graveyard at this hour. Well, I'm here because it's the best place in town to find some privacy. There's privacy everywhere, Abigail. There's like 10 people in this town, max. And I'm all sweaty because I've been practicing my swordsmanship. The exclamation mark. Ooh, she's sweaty. Hey, what? You think I'm too too weak to swing a blade? She's kind of a, a dweeb a little bit. You know, swinging around a sword. Sorry, I guess I'm getting a little defensive. You see, I want to explore the mountain caves, but I know it's too dangerous to go there un unarmed. I'll take you, girlfriend. I'll take you. Oh, I didn't see what I picked. 
I've lived in the valley my whole life, but I've never really done anything memorable. I want to go on an adventure. Abigail? Dad? I've been looking all over for you. Your mother wants you to come home and help with dinner. You help with dinner? I guess he runs the shop. Whatever. What are you doing in this graveyard anyways? There's no place for a young lady. Oh, that's sexist. Mind your own business. You think I should be at home cooking dinner because I'm a girl, don't you? You're really stuck in the past, Dad. Let's get out of here, Ken. Ooh. Well, are you coming or not? Ooh. This is what, come back. This is what I'm saying is, how old are they? That's all I want to know. Okay, my dad won't find us here. Can you believe my parents were ever young? They don't understand my perspective at all. Like, how old are we here? If I own a farm and you are being told what to do by your parents still, two plus two does not equal four. I'm so confused and I, I don't understand. They grew up with different in a different era with different values. It still ticks me off, okay? Well, thanks for hearing me out. Um, now could you help me untangle my hair from this bush? <laughs> that was cute. That was a cute little moment with our girl. Yay! We have enough! We have enough! For the house! I want to just run over there. Do that. Oh, thank you for the potato! Secret note! All these, like, locations. I don't know what to do with that. Did I go all the way down there and not go to the traveling cart or the secret woods? Is that something I did? I'm so tired, it might just be that. I might have just forgot that was my mission to begin with. That's exactly what happened, because I don't remember these. Okay. Oh, that's a cheap refined quartz. Oh my god, and I have to- shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, frick, frick, frick. Oh my god. House upgrade, house upgrade. I'm, again, the farthest possible location from it. And I don't have poo, I lost poo. I'm such an idiot. Why am I like this, y'all? I just want to know. Literally, if I hadn't lost poo, if I hadn't just wandered around for however long. Uh, please. Oh no, cutscene. Hi Ken, I was just cleaning some dust off my saw. Have you ever made anything out of wood? I think so. Great, then this blueprint should be a piece of cake. I think we've become good enough friends that I can trust you with my carpentry secrets. Let me show you the blueprints. Okay, okay. For what? A flute block and a drum block. We can use these to get creative. Yay. Ugh, okay. Yes! Woo, we made it! Even with me being stunned, we made it! We get started tomorrow, I should be finished around three days. Yay! We can't afford anything. That's not true, yes we can. Oh, little pillars are fun. I like the couch, okay. Gotta go to the woods still. Man, I forgot how long it takes to just walk places. It, like, you really had to account for so much more time of just walking. Oh, so cute. Finally, okay, so we'll do living room over here, like so. We'll move this, this down. So cute. We'll do a little, a little column situation. Cute. Now we just have to fill that area with plants. My starter decor is always so hectic. Okay, I gotta sprint and get my wood. And that's like the last thing I could do. What was I doing today, y'all? Truly. All right, Poo Poo, where are you? Pooey, Poo Thang. How do I leave my poo like this all the time? Well, I'm sorry, Poo. Have a safe trek home, all right, buddy? You have a safe trek home. Ah, oh, bye, mushroom tree. I love you. Thank you for sprouting up. And and next time we'll have our house with our casks down below. And yeah, we'll have to see. I don't know that I've I have upgraded my house to the end before, but not by myself. Not by myself. All right, friends. I love you. Stay cozy. I'm going to go literally crawl into bed. I'm going to just straight shot to the bed. I have to take off my makeup. My mascara. I only put mascara on. Why? What am I saying? Good night. I love you. Bye. Stay cozy.